function of um, trigonometric functions using trigonometric identity. All right, this talk has about four cases. Look at, look at each of the cases. Let's start with case one. Let's say you have um, to integrate or to perform an integration of the form this. That's sine ax cos bx dx. Now, for this case here, here's your condition. For this one here, the condition is if this one here, this number here, is greater than this number. For instance, if I have a question such as the integral of, say, let's say, sine 5x cos 3x dx. This term now works in this form. As you can see, uh, the first number here, a, is greater than what you have here. So how do you solve this one here? We said use this substitution. This one here will be equal to use this substitution here in place of this. And it should be the integral of this instead. Yeah. So use this substitution in place of this. This one here will derive the concept of um, three identities, side A plus B and side A minus B. So what you do is if you use, if you get value of side A plus B, get that value, combine it with side A minus B. We are right about this. But before we solve problems on this first, let's check this out. Check this out, please. Uh, before then, let's look at two things. Uh, case one. Let's say I'm asked to perform the integral of, so let's say, sine 5x dx, yeah? Now, we pass with this one here. Yeah? Now, guess what to do? Of course, in this case, you are using substitution method. So this is now equal to, say, let's you be equal to what I had here, yeah? 5x. So that if I differentiate, I'll have that the u over the x is equal to 5. From here, get the x, swap this two, I'll have that the x is equal to the u over 5. If I should perform this integral here, or on substituting, I'll have the integral of sine. This one here is u. So replace this by u dot. We said the x is equal to this. That becomes the u over 5. Simple substitution. In place of 5x, I put u. In place of the x, I put this. I'm having this one here. Um, break out your constant term. Obviously, here yeah, in this case, this is still equal to the integral of sine u dot. This one here is 1 over 5 dot the u. From here now, if I break out, what's it called? If I break out the constant term from here, uh, I have this is equal to 1 over 5 integral of what there? Eh? Sine u dot what? du. And that's equal to 1 over 5 integral of sine u this what there? Eh? Minus cos u plus what there? Eh? C. So I have this. If I work on this one there, eh? this will now be equal to yeah, the 1 times minus cos u minus cos u over what there? Eh? 5 plus c. But what you? Use what there? 5x. This is equal to what there? Minus plus what there? 5x plus what? 5 plus c. So I have this. Yeah, 27 plus C. That's right. 
So no cut. So notice this next. That's it. Case two. Case two. Now that was for sign. Let's do for cost. Let's do for cost. Let's say I'm asked to integrate cost uh, any number. I'm choosing 3x dx. Following the same pattern, u lets u be equal to this number here, yeah? 3x. And uh, work on this, I'll have that the u over the x is equal to 3. Uh, make the x subject of the formula. I'll have that the x is equal to swap this 2 becomes the u over 3. At this point here, yeah, do your substitution. If I substitute, this will be this will be equal to the integral of cos 3x is u, so it becomes u dot the x we said is equal to the u over 3. Um, shift out this constant there. This will now be equal to the integral of cos u dot. This gives you 1 over 3 dot the u. So take this mind outside integral sign. Uh, that will now be equal to, I'm adding 1 over 3 integral of cos u dot du. This is now equal to 1 over 3. If I integrate cos u, gives what that? Sin u dot what? Of plus c. Integrate cos u of sin u plus c. At this point, we said but u is equal to 3x. So it's now equal to this like this sin u all over 3 plus c. But u is 3x, so it's equal to sin 3x all over 3 plus c. You can see the same correlation. The same thing, please, here. So the idea is this. If I'm to, if I'm to integrate cos of any number and x, the x of cos, it will be equal to, if I integrate cos, I have sin. So this is sin, repeat this one here, ax all over this number here, a plus c. That's why you have that. Alright, so it's like a short cut. And that's it. So please notice, if I'm integrating sin, it's minus cos. If I'm integrating cos, it's sin. And this. Alright, so example one. Let's evaluate this integral here. Now observe, this one goes in this form here. Uh, pick out pick out the numbers here yeah, from here. If I compare this with this, you can see that a is equal to y and b is equal to 3. So I'm having this. So we said therefore the integral of sine 5x cos 3x dx will be equal to now look at this. It's now equal to I'm having the integral of 1 over 2. Sign, so having sign, we said a plus b. That becomes this plus this. That becomes 5 plus 3. Okay, x, that's x plus sign. Next up, a minus b. 5 minus 3. Next up, x and then uh, the x cos. Should be the x here. The x should be the x here. Uh, the x. Alright, so look at this. This is now equal to the integral of um, meanwhile it's 1 over 2 into everything, yeah? Yeah, everything, yeah. So it should be here. Because the x also cancels everything. Yeah. Alright, so you should have this. Right. This is equal to 1 over 2 sine. 1 over 2 sine. 3 plus, uh, 5 plus 3 is 8x plus sine 5 minus 3 is 2x. This one here. Yeah, so I have this. Alright, just add these two. Subtract these two. Work on this is now equal to, now split them to become equal to, this one becomes 1 over 2 into the integral of sine 8x plus sine 2x dx. I have this. Alright. So this now becomes equal to 1 over 2 into take this, this, this integral of sine 8x dx plus this, this, this integral of sine 
two and yeah, so you have this. This hat multiplies everything there. Of course, from what I showed you earlier, this is now equal to, I'm having this as 1 over 2 into, if I integrate sine 8x, what do you get there? Minus cos 8x over 8. This one, this one there. Minus, yeah? Cos 2x over 2. Next up, plus 6, so I have this. So if you want to use this to multiply 3, it's now equal to, this and this, 1 times minus cos 8 is minus cos 8x all over 2 times 8, 16, um, minus 1 and this cos 2x all over 2 times 2, 4 plus c. So that's it. So it's very easy to solve. Your, your task will be, can you remember this string function? That's it. But once you get this string function, that's all. This is how you solve this question. Alright, so let's look at a second case. Um, a second case is for integral of the form cos ax sine bx dx, where in this case, the cos y, the cos whole is having um, the greater number, right? Cos of greater number sine of lesser number. So I have this one here. In this case, what do you do? We said this becomes your substitution, right? Half into sine a plus bx minus sine a minus bx dx. Different between case one and case two is that for case one, here was sine, here was cos. For case two, is what? For case one, here was a plus. For case two, here is a minus. All right, um, example. Example, evaluate, evaluate the integral of cos 11x sine 5x, of course, yes. All right, evaluate this. So observe that it's now cos, the greater number x sine, the lesser number x, the x. So this is now in this form. So from here, get out your a and your b. From here, a, obvious is this, 11. B is this one here, 5. Alright, express this one here in this form. It's now equal to half the integral of um, sine, we said A plus B. So 11 plus 5, 11 plus 5, X minus sine A minus B, 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5x um, dx. Alright, so I have this one here. I'll work this up. This is equal to 1 over 2 integral of, I'm having this as sine. This gives you 16x minus sine. This gives you 4. I want to get that. 6. This is 6, so I'm having 6x. Um, yeah, so I have this. Alright, so I have this case here. Um, this now equal to half into, uh, what this has become half into, if you want to, take uh, this, this, this integral of sine 16x, this man here, the x minus. Integral of sine, this one here, 6x dx. So you have this. Alright. So this is now equal to 1 over 2. Um, if I integrate this one here, what do I get there? This place, what do you get there? Minus cos 1. Minus cos 1 there. 16x all over what? 16. Minus this one here. Sine this one there. Minus cos a bit. So this one there, minus cos 6x all over 6. So I'm having this. Observe the line with the brackets. So this one gives you minus this. Minus, since if I evaluate sign, it gives you another minus. Put that one in a special bracket. Of course, plus your constant of integration. What is that? It's equal to 1 over 2. Um, 
So here gives you minus cos 16x all over 16. Minus minus plus. So plus cos 6x all over 6. Obvious B plus C. One last step. If you can stop if you want to. Or perhaps expand this. If I expand this, this and this minus cos 16x all over 32 plus cos 6x all over 2 times 6, 12 plus c. Alright, so that's your answer.